has been holding it down. And I think, uh, I mean, I hope so. Yeah, we're hopping right on in here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a button check. Little so, button check. Yeah, this will be loser semis and Shadow PR looking to continue to defend the region. Uh, gonna go uh, against Superhead. Superhead had a, had a crazy set earlier against Desmond. Yeah, so. absolutely. But uh, I definitely think Pyramithra is the way to go. Gonna be using, uh, of course, those zoning tools that you have. And a great frame data from uh, Mithra just to kind of, uh, you know, push back on Bayo a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, though. And Shadow PR, though, also having, you know, the Pithra himself as well. Uh, we obviously see the Bayonetta a whole lot more. Yeah. But, you know, the character knowledge is there. So I'm actually curious to see how Shadow PR is going to deal with it. And, and I just want to say, this is probably Shadow's best showing. I, I think it is. I think it's the Shadow's best showing besides the first Hyrule Coliseum. Yeah. Uh, especially on, you know, how many players entered and, and perspective. Like, yeah. this is, he's had a great showing today. Yeah, like, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, showing like, hey, man, I used to be number one. Yeah. I'm, I'm still up here. Yeah, showing shades of that most definitely. So we'll have to see how he does against Sleepyhead starting off with a forward already. Game one. Yes. Yeah, and, you know, he shared with me too. He, he did not play online. Yeah, he, not at all. Like he basically took a vacation for a year. So for him to come out and have this type of performance is absolutely insane. Yeah, and absolutely. Oh wow, they both have it. He, Bayonetta has bats within. Mithra has force, or Mithra has foresight. So they both got it. Yeah, exactly. And that can make a pretty big difference. But baiting that air dodge inside, gonna get the grab and looking for a little bit of a gunplay. Yeah, there you go. Here's the myth. Oh, wow. It's just going to fall off of uh, the up smash. Yeah, it's like the up tilt doesn't quite like reach all the way through. So it just kind of like, it's like, ah. Yeah. Oh, my God. That hit underneath yeah. him and then confirmed into the up smash. What a way to start right now for Superhead. Wow. But answer right back with a big forward smash and close it out. You'll see Superhead. He'll actually stand up on that plat and just down air as Pyro, just baiting you in. Yeah. Uh, kind of like he does with the game. <laughs> Watch. Yeah, exactly. And there you go. You see again, once again, the resets from Shadow PR using the, play, the Pokemon Stadium uh, platforms with the bears. Yeah, like the uh, chase with the Lightning Buster. Um, and it's such a nice mix-up just because you're charging it. So you can change up that timing just really con uh, constantly. But nice read with the up smash here. Going to go Pyra and, uh, yeah, looking to build some great damage here. Yeah. There you go. Once again, Shadow PR getting a lot of mileage off the board. It comes to wish combos. Oh, tried to pop the Prominence Revolt right there, which is a great counterplay. Yeah. Uh, but if you're getting carried for, uh, you know, those big Bayo combos, there's not much you can do with it. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, gonna catch the up smash once again, catching Shadow PR landing. Uh, really good stuff right there, Superhead. It only takes that very slight read. Uh, wow, with the style! Sick it off, uh, get out of here. You trying to hit me with that? You trying to hit me? Uh, all right, I got you. Yeah, man, I just took down Yanni. We ain't playing, man. We ain't playing. Okay, Shadow PR looking to take down another uh, DFW representative right here. They need to defend the city, though. Yeah, I gotta say, I love Superhead's just constant switching in between, keeping it really, really interesting, and it making it hard to really get that read there and the changing up between the characters. I mean, it's gotta be hard to get the combos going, but yeah. not right there. And what a really good switch right there. Similar to how Pokemon Trainer uses the switches as a pseudo air dodge, uh, Superhead using that in disadvantage to get out of the way. Oh man, that was so interesting, but he's not gonna make it back. I, I've never seen that move slow down, legitimately. I, that's the first time I've ever seen that. That is- uh, It's trippy. Yeah, it is trippy. It's like, are you, you, know, you know, you're taking a frame per second, right? You're taking yeah. the game and bumping it down to one frame per second. Yeah, so. wow, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah, good opening, opening game from Shadow PR uh, right there. Taking it uh, pretty pretty close, right? Last stocks, right? It was relatively yeah. close. So. Yeah, and Superhead's just got to be careful of using that blazing end like constantly, uh, just because uh, yeah, you can witch time that yeah. like for free. It's, it can just sit there, and yeah. <laughs> you're just like, okay, witch time. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna get to game two on Town of City. Uh, that's counter pick. Uh, Ray of Punishment right there doesn't, you know, obviously some good damage, right? Yeah, definitely. And once you kind of get off stage right there, you know your combo's done. Uh, you know, the Ray of Punishment is definitely going to be the best way to go just to get as much damage as you possibly can off that. And oh my goodness, that's killing! Again! We saw that he's getting that on every platform, no matter what stage, right? At 86% though, what a early kill right there. And that's going to get a nice lead for him. Yeah, even on the Town's buff, he's still going to kill that early, right? 
crazy. So really good start right there, you know, shaking off the first game and having a strong showing once again for him too. So. Nice, I'll be out of shield here. Um, he's getting in some trouble and looking uh, for that side B though. It's actually put him in some situations and hey, that's a close out on a stock for it too. Absolutely, and this is what you love to see, you know, both very, very aggressive players going for it all, right? The yeah, he's super head ended up, you know, losing a stock for that. But very aggressive and kind of, you know, uh, bold option, right? Love to see. Yeah, getting jabbed out right here. Uh, trying to land and uh, Shadow trying to keep the pressure back on. Going for that falling there, but just working out of shield. And, uh, whoa, okay, some nice avoidance right there, though. Yeah, try to try to change it up a little bit right there in terms of his uh, evasiveness from all of the moves. Switching to Pyro, though, gets a grab. I mean, he knows that it kind of around this percent, too. If he gets one nice down air and up smash confirm, and that's kind of it. Yeah. And this is definitely scarier in there. Oh, man, the dash attack. Not going to do what you get, though. I'm going to keep it back. Wow. Gets up which time? It's an option right there. Oh, but the platform is going to not work in favor. Yeah, just right in the way right there. That might have actually been stopped. Yeah, knocked him right back to stage, though. Looking for the forward smash. A spot dodges it out and keeping that nair pressure on. Yeah, great grab right there, though. Oh, man. Good up. Wow. What a good. What a... I'm speechless. Yeah. I, yeah. What a gimp right there. Yeah. The offstage interactions are, you know, proving to be something beyond, beyond my knowledge, man. Wow. There you go. Going to get the up B. Going to even up the stocks once again. Yeah. Super, super close. Uh, it's still anybody's game. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, carrying right here, uh, going to continue uh, to build as much damage as possible. Like I gotta say, that's Shadow PR special, man. He will get and milk that exchange for as much as it is worth. Absolutely. The foresight and the bad thing, they both have it, like I said, man. Yeah. It's so, you know, it's like which one is going to which one strike first? Yeah, which well, one's going to see into the future a little bit more right here. Lay out the back. There's the jab, though, and he waited for him. He waited for him and went for the jab and closed it out right there. You saw him just fall a little bit. He knew it was coming. The hesitation paid off. Yeah, exactly. What a way to end it for Shadow PR right now. Going to go up 2-0. Very, very, very advantageous situation right there. Like you said, kind of getting the reset right there, and then... He was like, not going to push a button? Okay, then let me do it again. Run it, yeah. run it right back. So. I have to say his confidence right now, you can see it. Like, you can just see it in him right now. He is showing what he is made of right here. And, you know, we saw a little bit earlier with, uh, you know, uh, Shadik that, you know, that unfortunate SD just kind of put him in a bad place. So it's nice to see him turn it completely around. Yeah, like the momentum's kind of reset back into his favor now. So it's something big. Oh, my God. Speaking of something big, he tried to hit him with a fist, but not going to do it just yet. Right? He really didn't take that much damage off of that. I'm no. surprised it went for forward smash. Like, I thought we were going to see maybe, like, a down throw into something. Yeah, exactly. Like a reset, right, in terms of, like, combos, right? And, yeah, there you go. There's the combo. Try to end it with the Ray of Punishment, but the platform's going to give Shadow PR and Cape Route. I love her forward throw. I mean, just creating that tech situation is so nice. And oh my goodness, reaches on through. Yeah, the Witch Twist right there. Going to get punished by the Pyra M Smash. It's just going to work. It's like, all right, cool. You got it, man. That's I, all you. At least somebody's actually punishing, though, because Shadow PR does such a great job in mixing up offstage, though. He never really grabs ledge, though. And I feel like a lot of people don't know how to deal with that well. Oh, man. Once again, Lightning Buster. Never seen it that slow, for sure. So, Bayonetta providing us an interesting experience. Very cinematic format. Yes, like the it. cinematic format. Exactly. Get the slow-mo instant replay on it. Exactly. There you go. Here's the Shadow PR momentum that we all come to know and love. Or fear, if you're on the receiving end of it. Yeah, I, for me, it's more fear. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right, there's that up throw. Looking for a little bit of a uh, conversion. Just not quite able to get it. Uh, but there's the up tilt, and we'll see a little bit of those uh, Mithra combos, though. But uh, rushing on down and gets the jab. He's just having a hard time landing. Yeah, absolutely. Was it punish? No, not going to do it. the foresight. Okay, what's the ledge option here? Wow, gets up which time. Once again, going to land a little bit higher above the ledge, but not going to get punished this time around. Yeah, but, you know, honestly, I think that that worked out so well for Shadow. I mean, the, the whip on the grab is just what made all the difference for him right there. Yeah, absolutely. Get, wow, going for the backers right now. Yeah, and nice reset back to neutral right there. Just baited him on side, said, come near me, come near me. I got enough space now. Here's the back there. Yeah, absolutely. Here comes the combo. Switching up. Uh, it's an Ithra, I mean. Uh, interesting switch right here. What's the option right here? 
Foresight! Oh, with the up smash, not gonna do it there. These exchanges are wild. Yeah, like the usage of Foresight makes it so interesting and a nice little custom combo setup here. Thought he was gonna drift it on down. Uh, there's a step back Force smash, not gonna close out the stock though. Oh, it's right before the startup of the usual be from uh, Pyra. That would have been the stock for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. That hits like a truck. And oh no, got caught in the slump of prominence. Of the forward smash. Photo finish right there. Just waiting for it to land and then punishing accordingly. Shadow PR continuing to defend the region. The 3-0 yeah. Run, man. Clean. He said, "I'll see. I'll see you later." So Dallas officially is now out of uh, of Odyssey.